Hello, welcome to the Blackburn Chiropractic Clinic. We're just going to talk very quickly about how to use an ice pack correctly as this still creates some confusion amongst patients. The best way to use it is obviously to wrap it in a uh, tea towel once it's been in the freezer for a while. You mustn't let the bare pack touch your skin because it will freeze to your skin and cause um, ice burns, which is obviously something you don't want. Ice packs work by taking heat away from an inflamed area. So if anyone has a bad neck or a bad back, the area underneath the skin will be inflamed. So you can take pain relievers to target inflammation, anti-inflammatories, or you can use an ice pack, which is obviously a lot more uh, uh, pleasant to use rather than taking painkillers. Um, so wrap the ice pack in a tea towel. If you're going to put it onto the neck area, it's for five minutes to go across the back here and it's for five minutes at a time maximum. No longer because all you'll be doing is creating uh, a different type of reaction which can cause some, uh, you to feel a bit poorly. Um, if you're using it in the lower back, then you can literally just, again, wrap it in a detail, tuck it into the bottom of your trousers just so it goes across your waistband like so, and then you can put it there for up to ten minutes. So lower back is ten minutes. Anything above the neckline here is going to be about five minutes. With ice, it's best to use it regularly, um, so these short periods of time, every two or three hours or three or four times a day, is going to be really beneficial to help reduce the inflammation. You have to keep using it for a period of time, not just the day you're treated and not just the day you feel pain. Inflammation persists for up to six weeks after an incident, so if I advise you to use your ice pack for a uh, a long period of time, you're best to try and do it as often as possible.